scenes like these have become all too familiar in Pakistan. Militant Muslims go on a rampage, ready to beat and kill anyone simply accused of blasphemy against their holy book, faith, or prophet. Such was the response last July when an imam in the city of Gojra accused Christian Shafkat Emanuel and his wife Shagufta of texting him a blasphemous message against Muhammad. Police arrested and jailed the couple. Keith Davies of the group Please Rescue Christian says the allegations against the two are bogus. The wife uh, cannot write. She's illiterate. The husband is a cripple from his waist down, can't move. Um, they had a cell phone that they lost and they reported it missing to the, to the owner of the store. The store uh, manager testified in court that it was reported stolen and was reported missing to him. Despite a lack of evidence, Shafkat and his wife were sentenced to death. Davies says Muslim extremists either bribed or intimidated both the prosecutor and judge assigned to the case. We had, had people who had private meetings with the judge uh, who said that, you crazy, I, I have to convict, I have to sentence to death because otherwise I'll be killed. Sir, like Davies, Jeff, Jeff King, president us. of International Christian Concern, believes the Christian couple will eventually be released. Now the, the couple will sit in prison for the next five to six years until it reaches a high court. They're often released then if they're not killed in prison, though. And in, in the meantime, what happens with their kids? Have they been without their parents? I, have they even been able to see the parents? No, they cannot see the parents because, uh, because they're also threatened with death because the extremists there want to kill the whole family. And, and the grandfather is not a young man. I'm sure he's concerned about his health and the longevity uh, of his ability to care for these uh, children. Yes, he's 86 years old. So uh, he can't, he, he's not in a, in a position to, to uh, provide aid and, and, uh, and, and to bring these children up. Um, but our organization has the ability to help these children. Pakistani Christians Shafkat and Shagufta are not alone. Others like Asya Bibi still waste away in prison, also accused of blasphemy, also sentenced to death. Cases like this and some others make a lot of, of noise and they get some attention. But the tragedy is there's so many more and they're sitting quietly, no one knows about them. What can be done? Both King and Davies say the U.S. government gives millions of dollars each year to Pakistan. And with that money comes political leverage to gain the release of those like Shafkat and Shagufta. Our goal is to secure their release, and uh, we're going to put as much pressure as we possibly can to try and do that. We all know to pray, but at the same time, we've got to get on the phone with our legislators and say, what is going on? Without political pressure, strong political pressure from the United States, it's not going to happen. Gary Lane, CBN News.